Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all my wonderful students. Once again we continue with unit 9. We have completed lesson from this unit. Now today we will start poem Garden Snack which is written by Muriel Al Sony. Now students, before we read and understand poem, I would like to say a short summary of this poem. The poet saw a snake in his garden. He got terrified and ran away. He had heard people say that some snakes were very dangerous or poisonous. But his mother told him that the garden snakes were harmless. They attacked insects. She advised him to stand aside and make way for the garden snakes to pass. There was no need to tremble with fear or run away. So this is a very short poem about snake which are living in the garden. The poet previous feeling so, too much care but after when his mother informed her him that they are harmless. After he didn't feel any fear but just stand aside and waiting for the snacks who just pass from there. So now let's see the poem. Now look at garden snack. Have you ever seen a snack fighting a mongoose? Or getting into a hole? Or swimming in the river? Everyone, almost everyone believes that snakes are dangerous. Some are, most are not. Read this poem on a harmless garden snack. Now students, you might see it or not, but we have already learned related snacks in previous class that six channel. We have learned two lessons, dessert animals also and another the bunion tree. In this both lesson we have learned about snack. In dessert animal we have learned that there are 2300 different kinds of snacks are living in this world and we have learned that not only this the ranging from just 15 centimeters long to more than 11 meters snacks are living in this world and if you remember that we have learned that time too that most snacks are harmless but there are a few snacks who are poisonous even they can kill the human being with just one bite so these all things we have already learned in previous class so all snakes are not dangerous even we have learned the snake fighting a mongoose this story also in banyan tree lesson so that time you have remember that snacks are very dangerous too. So here the poet is asking you that have you ever seen the snake fighting a mongoose or getting into a hall or swimming in the river? After the poet telling that almost people I believe that snacks are dangerous but most are not dangerous they are harmless and about this harmless snack we will learn in this poem so students open your textbook and open your poem garden snack which is at page 137 i saw a snack and ran away some snacks are dangerous, they say. But mother says that kind is good. 
and eats up insects for his food. So, when he wiggles in the grass, I stand aside and watch him pass and tell myself there's no mistake, it's just a harmless garden snake. I saw a snake and ran away. Here, I is used for poet. He said that I saw a snake and ran away. Definitely, when he seen, when he had seen snake, he felt fear and he just ran away from there. Some snakes are dangerous. They say. Now, here they, they refers to whom? Here they refers to people. So remember this that they refers to people. They say, they say means people say. Almost people believe that snakes are dangerous. But mother says that kind is good. Now here that kind is good. That kind means which kind good? That kind means who is living in the garden. Some snakes are not dangerous. They are harmless. That's, that kind means garden snake. Garden snakes are good. But mother says, the poet's mother says him that garden snakes are good. Good means they are harmless. They are not harming people. And eats up insects for his food. And what they are eating? They are just eating some insects. Insects means worms. Which they are finding from plants or soils etc. So they are just eating some insects. So when he wiggles in the grass. Wiggles means means move from side to side. So when he wiggles, here he is used for garden snake. When the garden snake wiggles, wiggles means move side to side. Move side to side. So when this garden snake moving the grass in the garden moving here and there on the grass when the snakes are moving I stand aside aside and watch him pass I stand on one side aside means on one side and watch him pass and the poet is watching the poet is seeing the snake, the how it's moving side to side, how it's moving here and there on a one side. That time the boy just standing on one side and watching that where the snakes are moving, how the snakes are wiggling. And tell myself, there's no mistake, it's just a harmless garden snake. And when earlier what the boy thinking that all snakes are dangerous because people are thinking that each and every snakes are dangerous but you know students if we will not do any harm to any animal they will not hurt us the same related the snake if we will not hurt if we will not touch it they will not come to touch you but if you start to hurt or if you do something wrong for them, then only they come to you. Because some snakes are even not able to see also. They are just listening the voice of people, voice of the feet. They are just listening the voice. So, it's up to human being. It's up to people, the how they are behaving with animals. So, here... The poet also thinking that all snakes are dangerous. But after his mother giving very nice 
introduction of garden snake that garden snakes are not dangerous the mother told him that they are just eating insects as a food they are very good and when it's moving side to side that time the poet also after stand on one side and watching the snakes and tell myself there's no mistake there's no mistake means what the mother was telling me it's absolutely right is absolutely correct that some snakes are not dangerous some snakes are harmless it's just a harmless garden snake and the boy thinking that yeah there isn't any mistake they are harmless garden snake some snakes are really very harmless they will not do any harm for people so students it's too easy poem i hope you understand and even in sixth standard you have learned many thing about snakes so i hope you remember these and some things i inform you today also so it's clear about you related snacks if you have any doubts related this poem you can write in the comment box thank you students and have a great day